Welcome to Chisholm Trail 61. Today we're doing a old fashioned, I guess you call it old fashioned dessert. We're going to do a cherry cheese, uh, cream, I'm sorry, cherry cream cheese cobbler. That is a mouthful to say. I'm going to show you how to do that coming up right now. Okay, first thing we're going to need for our cherry cheesecake cobbler is we're going to need a 9 by 13 uh, casserole dish. We have one stick of butter here that we've melted. We're just going to dump it in the casserole dish there. Again, that's one stick of melted butter. And I'm just going to sort of slosh it around just a little bit. <clears throat> All right. In the bowl here, we got one cup of all-purpose flour. To that, we're going to add two teaspoons of baking powder. Get my baking powder open here. We're going to drop in. There's one and two teaspoons of baking powder. Oh, trying to run off on me, ain't it? We're going to add in one cup of sugar. It's a pretty simple recipe to remember. We're going to add in a half teaspoon of just regular table salt. Your main ingredients is one, 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 you know, <laughs> either one or a half on the main stuff. So, I mean, it, like I said, it's pretty simple. Now, I'm going to give that a, give that a little whisk there and get that sort of stirred in, mixed together there before I do anything else. It's a really simple recipe. It goes together really quick. Not a lot of ingredients. So, I think it's got like three, six, seven, about eight or nine ingredients, something like that. I'd had to stop count, but it's right off the top of my head, I'm going to say eight or nine. Maybe ten if you count the butter and all that stuff, you know. All right. <clears throat> to that, we're going to add in one cup of milk. Again, like I said, one. <laughs> and we got one egg that's been beaten. We're going to add it in. I'll set these over here out of the way. And I'm just going to start with a whisk on that, but I may have to change over to a spoon here in a minute. We would want to get this mixed up good and let, let it get good and smooth. And that flour was all-purpose flour. It's one cup of all-purpose flour in the bowl that I had in this bowl already at the start. So we're going to mix that up real good. And she's going to come together. Just want to get it get it around real good. What we're going to do, we're going to take her 9 by 13 that we put the butter in. We're just going to pour this batter right in on top of it. Just like so. Want to get it all out of there if we can, as much as we can anyway. You see the butter sort of come up over it and covered it there. That's that's what we want. All right. Then on top of that, we have two cans of cherry pie filling. So we're just going to sort of bake them out in here. Let them fall in, in our cobbler there. Right on top of our thing. Now, we don't want to stir nothing in this. You know, once you put it in, this, this is a no-stir recipe. You just want to drop it in and let it lay where it falls. You don't want to go in there and be stirring around in it. Now, I like a lot of cherries. Mine, you probably could get by with just one uh, can. Of, this is a 15-ounce can of cherry pie filling. And like I said, you probably get away with just one, but I like a lot in mine, so I'm using two. Uh, if you wanted to spread spread it out thinner, then you could you could get away with one. But I like to get a lot of cherries in with mine. Whenever I get something, I want to taste whatever I'm I got in there. I don't want to get a big old bite of just crust and not not any of the filling. So. That's why I'm putting some two cans in there.
right now actual recipe calls for four ounces of cream cheese but I'm a big cream cheese fanatic I, I love cream cheese now I've had my cream cheese sitting over here in the freezer I got a whole stick here I don't know that I'll use a whole stick but I have eight ounces of cream cheese here like I said the recipe actually calls for four but uh, what I'm going to do and this is just a little trick you, you can just cut your cream cheese up and just drop it in there if you want to. Let me show you another way to do it here. You can also just take the big piece of your grater there and just grate it and let it fall down in there. I'm trying to hold that up where y'all can see how it falls down on there. And just cover your... That just sort of gives you a more even coat to me. That's the way I like to do it anyway. Now, you know, if you want to just... Like I said, cut it up in chunks and drop it down on there, then that's fine too. But uh, to me, you just seem to get a a better coating of it if you do it this way. Now, like I said, I like cream cheese. You don't have to use as much as I do if you don't want to. As a matter of fact, the actual recipe calls for four ounces, but to me, four ounces of cream cheese just ain't enough. So uh, I put a little extra in it. I don't think nobody's going to fault me for that, are you? I hope not. <laughs> I mean, like I said a while ago, if I'm going to put it in there, I want to taste it. But, you know, you want to put your cream cheese in the freezer for about uh, 20 minutes if you're going to try to grate it. Because you can see how it's starting to get soft again now. And then it doesn't grate so well whenever it gets soft. But uh, if you... Uh, Put it in the freezer about 20 or 30 minutes and you re work really quick. I, I can usually have this done before it ever starts melting, but I'm trying to make sure you know y'all y'all can see see the full process. But uh, man, just look at all that goodness. May have to get me a spoon here to drape that off of the bottom there. Want to stick on me, ain't it? Start, starting to warm up on me. But that's okay. We're going to make it work anyway. I'm probably going to go ahead and just put this whole, whole stick in here. Like I said, I like cream cheese. Cherry cream cheese cobbler. I mean... We call it cherry cream cheese. It ain't just cherry, so I want to taste the cream cheese too. Put this down here and peel back a little bit more of this paper. Man, man. That looks good. I can't wait to get into this. Yeah, I'm just stringing it around, dumping it on there, letting it fall where it wants to, just trying to get it, you know, a coat everywhere. Now, I've just about to use that whole thing, but I do like cream cheese. I think that's about all I'm going to get out of that. I tell you what, I could use another another stick of it, and it wouldn't, it wouldn't bother me a bit. <laughs> I would eat it just, just the same. Get the end of this and knock it off there. But when it gets goes to melting on you, it does get a little sticky, but that's okay. You can work through it. Sort of even it out a little bit there. But you can see we got us a good coating of cream cheese on there now. And that's what we after. We want cream cheese in every bite. There. All right, what we're going to do now, we're going to take and put this in the oven. I got my oven preheated 350 degrees. It's going to go in the oven uncovered, just like it's sitting right here, for 45 to 55 minutes until you know it gets done completely through and our batter's done. And uh, we'll bring you back whenever we get to that point. Okay, we got our cherry cheese cobbler out of the uh, oven there and 
we've let it set for about 20 minutes or so and we're going to dip us out a bite here and we're going to taste this thing boy i can't wait to get this taste out of it that got that cream cheese on top of it you see that cream cheese and the crust there and stuff i can't wait to get into it i ain't gonna lie to you i'm i'm looking forward to this man what you talking about that does look good Ooh, she's still steaming though maybe it won't blister my tongue let's see what it's gonna taste like give me some of that cream cheese a cherry some of that cobbler man definitely got to blow that up hey that is some more good there hmm I could eat that whole whole cup. Hey, if you will, give the video a thumbs up, like, share, comment, subscribe to our channel. We appreciate all of you do. Appreciate all of you take the time every day to watch our videos. Cherry cream cheese cobbler. We'll see you on the next one.